Ninja man na ninja men na honda men na yama Ninja man na ninja na Suzuki na Katana Ninja man na ninja men na Ninja man has once again put pen to paper in what he says are his final comments The Don Gorgon started out by saying quote Uno make me have to put pen to paper again Sprinter say you like the run of them a Kenya Tell you from the start to the business of the mayor man and a car up Now go feed the vampire as Tani TV I get the baddest and the sickest and the maddest set of reviews them on YouTube. Bless up, bless up. Welcome back to Stani TV viewers and subscribers. You don't know the thing go. You don't know nice on the bingo. Yeah man, viewers and subscribers, Ninja man. <laughs> Ninja man write a letter in of viewers and subscribers. And the man, the man address thing. Is what I say. The man make mention of the people them who slap with him son, is it? Ninja man even spoke of current affairs, you know, and the current state of Jamaica. You see it. And he might beg the youth to put down the gun, you know. And I beg the leaders themselves eh? to try to organize certain things in the ghetto, you know. For, for, the, for the kids and socialize and all them things. That. So viewers and subscribers, them, ta them type of things that we need right now. Yeah? To the state of Jamaica then, right now, it's like we're not a whoop, you know. I swear, yeah man, it's serious. Like, share and subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell. You see it, so you can get a notification when time we drop another video. You see it, so. Without further ado, we're gonna just get right into the letter. Kick it up! Ninja Man has once again put pen to paper in what he says are his final comments. The Don Gorgon started out by saying, quote, Uno make me have to put pen to paper again. This time around, however, Ninja Man had a lot more on his mind. He spoke about everything from Sting to government affairs. Ninja Man reminisced briefly about his prior status in dancehall, still claiming a position of importance to the people of Jamaica and their love for him. He said most men are fighting to be kings and princes and all manner of titles but what he wants most is to be loved he said the three biggest motorcades in jamaica was first selassie second was nelson mandela and third ninja man when he was charged with gun in the usa and went back to jamaica to kill supercat lyrically he touched on the topic of Sting and his disappointment in the way it turned out. He said, quote, Leng, that was not Sting. That was a deteriorated, evaporated version of what Sting was. Disgrace does not belong on Sting. He went on to say, people gave him the rundown and it was disgraceful. He said Leng should have gotten all the artists to, quote, unquote, bond down Sting in the early years like Capleton, Sizzla, Johnny P, Lady G, Patra, Nancy, Spraga Benz, Terrifying, Fabulous, Frisco Kid and Terry Ganzi, among a few others, with three tunes each, four if the crowd is forceful. He said if it was when Shandy Bottles were raining in Jamaica, there would have been many casualties at the last sting. He said the show is damaged. Ninja Man wrote about forgiveness. He said he believes in forgiveness, and once you forgive, you have to start with a clean slate. He said that all the gun pan teeth lyrics in his songs are just that, lyrics. He said he forgave the man who killed his son, and said he, Ninja Man, was raised by the grandmother of the man who killed his son. Ninja said the man's grandmother would cook and wash for him. He said he fixed up the house in which they lived and there is no way he would turn a gun on them. He said people told him that they heard talks of them bragging about killing his son and still he did not retaliate. He said he was very active in keeping peace in his community and started what he called Ice Cream Sundays to show kids that they are cared for. He said he would bring in bounce about, water slides, and other amenities into the community for the children to foster peace among each other while allowing them to be children at a time when they could be so easily influenced. Ninja Man said people do not understand his level of moral standard. He reiterated that he would never kill someone from his community. He believes that girls should wait until they are 21 before being sexually active, especially when they're in college or getting further educated. He said he was the first DJ to to say he had 14 guns, then one ounce a gun. But he was not singing about things that were done. Those gun lyrics were tales. There was humor in the gun lyrics of his time. But now the youths are singing about
about things they did or intend to do. It's getting out of hand. It's gotten way too serious. There's no joy in the music and people are too intent on glorifying the negative. He said putting a ban on certain music is not a bad thing because the music has gotten out of hand. However, the government need to focus on more than just banning lyrical contents. There's a lot more that can be done. Reggae and dance all brought the most tourists to Jamaica. People were flying into the country even for an event like Frontline on Red Hills Road, not to mention some fest and sting. People are not flying in for these events like they used to because they don't feel safe anymore. During the time of those events, you could see the youths hustling even cardboard boxes to make money. You don't see that happening anymore. Music is one of the biggest commodities in Jamaica. We have more artists per capita than any other country. Build new facilities across the country where musical events can be held to support the various parishes by creating job opportunities for the people. In addressing crime, Ninja Man said, quote, Youth, I am talking to you as a front teeth, gold teeth, gun pan teeth, Don Gargan. This jail is not a nice place. Put down the guns. Do the right thing. The Don Gargan had a special message for men, especially Jamaican men. He said, if you're not in love with a woman, then it must be a man that you love. Every time you hurt a woman, you hurt Mother Earth. You deal with Mother Earth without regard. If you keep killing the women, who will keep the population going? Remember that you all have a mother. Some have sisters. Please think before you act. Badness don't pay. It shortens your lifespan. He wants the young people to know that some of the baddest men, including Don's, they got sick and died if they were not killed prematurely. Now the youths are being manhandled by the guns they own. He implores them to think and ask themselves what they want out of life and find more reasonable and acceptable ways of achieving it. He wants them to know that death is not by cops only. It's also by the people you call friends. There is nothing positive to look forward to when that is your route of choice. A real Don sees that his community is run well. They do not kill off the community members. Too much is happening that shows that we are all in trouble. There are cases of father against son and son against father. A mother is burying one son while another son is in jail for his death. We have to find new and proven ways to help poor people survive. They have bills to pay, children to school and feed, and a lot of them are willing to do whatever it takes. Please give them better options. To the youths who are in war with each other, remember this. Crime pays, but not you. It pays the judges, the lawyers, the warders, the doctors and nurses, but not you. His message to parents is that they should get back to parenting. He said, talk to your children and take them back to their youth. Create lines of communication with the children in your charge and teach them how to love with patience and understanding. Teach them that we are all humans regardless of social and economic status. There is way too much contention in the music. Sex and gun are the topics of the day, but this has gone way beyond the music as well. People are losing patience with each other and allowing their emotions to get the better of them, resulting in death too many times. Forgive your enemies and let peace reign. This message is for the men, women, boys and girls alike. It takes everyone to make peace reign. It's up to the Prime Minister and all government officials, along with all citizens, to make Jamaica good again. Stop fighting over power. People only have titles, but God alone has power. Everyone can die. God alone is immortal. Ninja Man said changing gun laws alone won't fix the problem. They've been hanging people since he was born, and people are still being killed unceremoniously. He said the government needs to come up with a more logical way of fixing the problems. So his message to the Prime Minister and other members of the government is as follows. Go into the communities and find out how you can help the people out of poverty. There need to be more progressive measures taken against crime across Jamaica. Gun amnesty should be done on a regular basis. Keep it consistent. The more guns off the street, the more lives saved. The innocent, the police, soldiers, and general population. The leaders of both parties, Minister of Justice, Chief Justice, and other heads need to put their heads together to help reduce crime, create more opportunities for the youths to connect with each other and get off the streets and their phones. Get them back to humanity. Get them back to loving each other. Mr. Prime Minister, find ways to get the people back to work. Most of the people with guns don't have 
any other options. They don't have money. A lot of them will work if given a job. They are industrious people who yearn for opportunities to be progressive citizens. Work on building a country where there are no third-class citizens, only first and second class. It is possible. Find a few people to represent the different communities and give the people some hope in the garrisons. That will cool down the crime and violence. Create more sporting activities to join communities together and give the people something to look forward to. Garrison Olympics could be one option. You may even find some Olympic hopefuls, footballers, and others to represent the country on a bigger platform. Build up those who are gas station workers, supermarket workers, and others like them to feel that they are important contributors to society. They are the backbone of the country. When you become a prime minister of a country, you are responsible for everyone, not just those who voted for you. Work toward making Jamaica, on a whole, self-sufficient. Mr. Prime Minister, I say this with a lot of respect, so please do not get offended, and I know it does not lie solely on your shoulders. Jamaica was independent, now it is dependent. We are looking toward other countries to supply us with things we can produce right here in Jamaica, and this is working at a disadvantage to our producers here in Jamaica. We need to have more homegrown produce in our supermarkets. We had the best banana, coffee, garlic, and yam, among other things. Now we're importing things that spoil in a few days. Anything that cannot be reproduced will kill you. The imports are not as good as what we produce. Let's get back to farming so Jamaicans won't be hungry anymore. Go back to Michael Manley days when we were self-sufficient. Please note that I have said this without politics as an influence. In 1976, when I was 10 years old, Jamaica was a much more independent country. I have grown to see it more dependent on other countries when they should be depending on us as a leader in the Caribbean. To the pastors and religious leaders, you need to play a more active role outside the church. You should be getting into the communities, talking with the people. See how you can help them find peace among them. Help the people understand the time they are living in. Demonic forces are taking over the place. Impress upon them why it's important for them to get closer to God. Go in the lion's den. Don't be afraid to go into the fire. We need more Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Form a union to show the devil you are not afraid to get back to God. Kick the devil out. We are one Jamaica. Out of many, we are one people. Let's get back to the Jamaica that everyone loved. I pray that everyone gets a chance to read or hear this message and get some insight into what needs to be done from the top of the ladder to the lowest rung. Jamaicans on a whole have great potentials and we should capitalize on those skills to bring the country back to greatness. As Tani TV, I get the bodies and the sickest and the maddest set of reviews them on YouTube.